So I have a small little XMA corner, if you will, in my house. The HK XMA was a prototype rifle for the US Army. Never entered a production, but they did make several, well I should say a few hundred of them. Give you an overall glimpse. Just a little corner in the man cave. We'll go ahead and start with the curio cabinet. We have an XM8 draft copy of the owner's manual, or operator's manual rather. This has a lot of good information in it. And there's, you can still find reproductions of these, but this one is an original. Here we have a gold promotional pin for the XM8. It's gold in color, it's actually not gold. We have a XM8 sling. The XM8 sling is very similar to the G36 sling, and the G36 is also similar to the XM8. Or I should say the XM8 is similar to the G36. This one, most notably, a little bit wider web, and also has a larger hook on the end. We have an XM8 promotional cleaning kit. This is just an Otis kit that has HK XM8 branding on it. I have only ever seen one of these, and I got very lucky and picked it up on eBay for 30 bucks. People have been contacting me asking me, hey, where'd you get that? Where can I get one? Can I buy yours? And not for sale. It's priceless to me, so. We have a Japanese combat magazine from 2004. A young lady with the compact version of the XM8. We have another XM8 pin that's brown. There we go. And we also have one of the few only real XM8 parts I have. The XM8 magazine, which is identical to a G36 magazine, except it has a little notch right here. That's for the stripper clip spoon. You can load stripper clips in these. Got the law enforcement marking at the time. This was uh, during the assault weapons ban when us lowly citizens couldn't own this. But that has since expired, so this is okay to be in a, you know, possession in this state anyway, most free states. So that's the curio cabinet. We'll move up to this poster. Promotional poster. They probably handed these out at the uh, shot show or whatever the equivalent was back in the day. So maybe, oh, they probably had that back then. There's a larger one with a four power optic on top. It's funny because the G36 has had similar configurations. You had the big heavy barrel one, you had the compact one, which is would be equivalent to the G36C. You have the uh, grenade launcher version, which is the same as the one above, it just has a grenade launcher on the front. The baseline carbine is the, would have been the standard issue with a 12 and a half inch barrel. Some other pictures, promotional shots. We have a soldier with one. I've only also seen one of these too. This is the HK XM8 bumper sticker. I had a couple copies made so I could actually use them without feeling too bad. I looked out on this one, it was 15 bucks in gun broker. No, they didn't post any pictures of it, so I lucked out with it. We have the flyers that were handed out. There's two different variants. Uh, these ones are a little bit different. Um, they're, they're pretty much identical with the exception of the picture. There's one that has the older version, the darker brown, that's the Audi stylized version. Audi, believe it or not, actually designed this uh, the fish gun look. The, the early XM8s look just like G36s with the small, few small changes. We have the XM8 baseball cap. A little hard to see with the glare from the light. Let's just turn it around. You see videos of people wearing these while they're shooting the XM8. Pretty cool. We have the small arms review issue with the XM8. This has a lot of cool photos in it. And this was a gift from a good friend, Tommy Belt Tactical. This has this like a little quick reference card for the ISMV. That's the optic that came with the SMA or XM8. It's pretty cool. Then we also have a poster up top here. This got a little bit of attention when I had it framed at Hobby Lobby. Pretty cool. Then of course, no collection would be complete without an XM8 or something close to it. This is an SL8 conversion. Not the greatest lighting, but I have other videos that show this thing off. This is a museum piece. I do shoot it every once in a while. All three of these magazines, and the fourth one in the gun, happen to be XM8 magazines. I got really lucky and got a bunch of them without even knowing it. I'm going to take this out and show it to you. This has the ISMV. That's the civilian version. The, when I bought it, it was about $800. Now they go for anywhere from you know, $1,500 to 2000 and and more, which is absolutely crazy. So This is Tommy Built Tactical. This is fine work on this gun. I'm pretty happy with the marking on there too. I'm pretty happy with it. 
So that about wraps it up. I would love to see your X and stuff. Bye-bye.